In this video, I am going to discuss about whether a given function is one-to-one. -one. I have been given these three functions and we are going to determine which one of these functions are one-to-one -one and which one are not. Let's consider the first function y is equal to mx plus b. As you know, it's a straight line. Okay, so uh, let's kind of sketch it. That's my y and that's my x. Let's say the line looks like this. This is a straight line y is equal to mx plus b. Now look at this line for each value of x you have exactly one value of y of course it's a function but if you take two different values of x let's say I pick x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 these are two different values and then you'll have a corresponding y value and this is this and that's that these are two different so if you take two different values for x, like I did take 1 and 2, then you'll get two different values for y. I just gave you a simple example here with two numbers, 1 and 2. But in general, you can pick any two different numbers. You'll always get two different numbers for y. So that's basically the test for determining whether a given function is 1 to 1 or not. I'm just going to give you a little bit of... Um, advanced flavor here. So let's say x1 and x2 are two numbers such that x1 is not equal to x2. Okay? Then according to our uh, assumption if this is a one-to-one -one function, if this is a one-to-one -one function then we will get two different values y1 that's not going to be equal to y2. That's what. If this is given we should be getting that. Now let's see, let's sort of kind of prove it by uh, contradiction. So let's assume that if I plug in x1 into the equation, it's going to be mx1 plus b. And if I plug in x2, it's going to be mx2 plus b. Now, I'm going to assume that these two are equal. They're, they're the same. Then I can cancel b and b from both sides, okay? I can divide, so I will I'll have mx1 is equal to mx2. Now I can divide both sides by m. We know that m is not 0, so these, these cancel out. We are assuming that m is not 0. Uh, so in that case, x1 is equal to x2. So, so we just found that if we assume that y1 is equal to y2, then x1 must be equal to x2. However, our assumption was that x1 is not equal to x2. In that case, we will have y1 is not equal to y2. If this is a bit hard for you to understand, just skip it. No worries. You just uh, It's easier to see with numbers. Okay? If 1 and 2 are two different numbers, you'll get two different y values. So that's for number 1. So let's do something for number 2 y is equal to g of x is equal to absolute value of x. Now, absolute value function, it looks like this, by the way, in case if you don't know, this is y, this is x. It looks like a v. It's a v-shaped function. Um, so, let's give you two numbers, say, examples. So, let's say this is 1, x is equal to 1, this is x is equal to negative 1. So, g of 1 is going to be absolute value of 1, which is just 1. Then g of negative 1 is equal to absolute value of negative 1, which is also 1. See, you have two different values, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 1. However, you have the same y value. y is 1. So for two different x values, you get the same y value. That means this is not 1 to 1. So this function is not 1 to 1. Now let's do the third one, which is y is equal to h of x is equal to x square minus 1. Okay? Now we are going to play the same kind of trick. So let's say um, we have uh, two x values, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to negative 2. What do you see? h of 2 is going to be 2 square minus 1, which is what? 4 minus 1, which is 3. Okay? Now, on the other hand, look at h of negative 2. 
So h of negative 2 is going to be negative 2 whole square, make sure to put parenthesis, minus 1, which is also 4 minus 1, which is also 3. See, we have negative 2 and 2 are two different x values. However, h of 2 is the same as h of negative 2, which by the way is just 3. So, this function is also not 1 to 1. Now, let me summarize what I, I just uh, discussed about in this uh, video. We basically sh demonstrated or showed how to determine a given function, whether it's 1 to 1 or not. If a function is 1 to 1 for two different x values, we will always get the two different y values. Doesn't matter which x values we pick in the domain. Any two different x values in the domain will give you two different y values in the range. So, that's the criteria for testing whether a function is one to one or not. On the other hand, if we can find even one example where two different x values give the same y value, then the function is not one to one as it is in this case for absolute value function and the square x square function. Um, so, in general, always remember absolute value function is not one to one and a function that has a square in it, just square by itself, that's also not one to one uh, or square plus minus some constant. It's not a one-to-one -one function. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.